Hello everybody and thank you for joining us for another Whitfield's Food Recipe. I forgot to do an intro and explain what we're making. This is the peanut butter and jelly burger. Sorry. What you're gonna need here, we've got two pounds of 80-20 ground beef. I don't know if we're gonna need it all, but We'll find out. Two slices of white bread, as generic as you can possibly find. Jelly, I guess jelly of your choice. We went with strawberry crunchy peanut butter. We did not mean to get crunchy, but we're gonna see how that works out. Going with the theme here. So that's all you're gonna need, friends. The way we're gonna infuse this burger here is rather than just putting a you know, big old glop of peanut butter and then a glop of jelly in there, we wanted to kind of make it uniform, sort of. And the only way we could think of doing that was by freezing them into little pucks. We got mason jar, little plastic mason jar lids. Spritz, 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 spritz. Then take your peanut butter, just fill it up all the way to the top. And you're gonna pop your little peanut butter frisbee once you have it all the way up to the top here. The burger's gotta be pretty much double the size, so this is gonna be a behemoth of a burger with just a little bit of bread, which honestly, I'm fine with that. I think our circumference is gonna need to be about this big. Mash it out, flatten it. So go ahead and spray it. Spray it first, otherwise it's gonna stick. Not, not, that, not that I did that. Not that I did that at all. And just smash it out. Smash that like button. Smash it like you're gonna smash that like button. Go hamburger on that like button. Isn't that what all the cool kids say these days? Go smash that like button. No, you're chicken on that. Go, go chicken. About 15, 20 minutes in the freezer. Just give, give a little solidification, if that's a word. We'll see. So now we gotta make our top patty. This one I am not going to stick in the freezer. Because I need this one to be able to mold a little bit more. Here's your now semi-solid base of your burger. These, I'm learning this the hard way, these thaw fast. So you're gonna wanna do this in one fell swoop. I think that'll just help keep it from just completely disintegrating once the heat gets in there. And seal it up, got sealed up. Se oh God, look at the size of this thing. Oh man. Cause if you don't, seal it the best you can. If you don't, you're gonna, you're gonna have an accident and it's gonna look like a mess. But you know what, I don't know, maybe that'll work. Now I'm gonna round it up so it looks like a burger. Pat it, pat it, mm. <laughs> That's a big burger. Just a little tiny non-existent hat. But you know what, bread just gets in the way of the good stuff anyway, so it's time to pop this bad boy on the skillet. I like to put my skillet all the way up 400 degrees, get it nice and hot, but because this is so big, I think I'm gonna have to scale it down when all said and done to probably about 350. I like my burgers medium rare. You want some blood in your peanut butter and jelly? So we're gonna make this pretty well done because that sounds kind of gross. Got my, my new little thermometer. Usually it has the things on it. 170. Now that you've got your skillet, you can use a normal skillet on a stove obviously, but I like this, this is my new little toy. So, I'm gonna spray it, spritz, spritz. I need to spray it too much because this thing's 80-20. It's got plenty of fat in it. You want sizzle, no sizzle, no bizzle. Oh, I got nothing that one. There was sizzle. The magic of editing? Oh, I don't know how to do that. Mm. It just got me. Big moment, the flip. Got my oversized spatula. We got a hole here. Got a hole? Uh-oh, we have burger breach. The burger, I repeat. Oh, you can see it coming out. The burger has been breached. I can't give you a finite um, temperature because I have to keep fluctuating it to make sure I don't burn the bottom, but you want to cook all the way. I just took the temperature and it was 122. So we got a ways to go. Get Wolf, get him. Look at him, he's not even helping. Lazy. This is the Uber Monster. This is the Uber Monster by Monster. That should be good. Oh, let's get the slot bucket over there. Okay, perfect. Ooh. Oh, I, I see she had the same opinion of it as I did. You don't like it? Yeah. Tastes like ass. Oh, well, that's. I guess I asked the question. Okay. Oh, no! As you can see, we had a bit of a, 
a bit of a burger breach, but you know what? That's just that's just part of the game, right? Evacuate the burger from the danger zone. That is the burger part of the PB&J burger. Let this sit for a good three to five minutes, which is fine because we gotta make the toast anyway. And I gotta clean this damn skillet now. Be careful with the jelly, because as you can see, it becomes napalm. What it did was it splattered up on me and it was hot as hell and I went to wipe it off and it immediately hardened and hugged my finger. It was like, you're gonna get burnt. These are battle wounds. Well, that's what I call them, waste. Easy style. Fritz, Fritz. You know what helps too? If the skillet's on. Through the magic of editing, Damn it! Time to build the beast. <laughs> so, so once you get that done, you're almost ready to go. You're almost ready to go. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. You ready to go? Same joke for the for the kids out there. Powdered sugar. It almost just tastes like peanut butter jelly sandwich. Like you don't really taste the meat that much. I guess if you want some extra protein in it. Yeah, and about an extra 900 calories. This crazy contraption has this many calories. Give your kids a treat or yourself that isn't spectacular and is really bad for you, this is the one for you. It wasn't a fail, but it wasn't a killer combo either. Let us know what you think. If you're gonna try to make this and if you improve it, let us know how you improved it. Maybe we'll revisit this again with your ing ingredients. Let us know in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all the other stuff. Hit notifications. Follow us on Wii, Twitter, on Instagram, which is Whitfield's Food Review. Got my shit together with that one. And follow us on Whitfield's Food Review Facebook page. That way you can be abreast every happening that is what feels good of you. That was an odd sentence. So thank you all for watching. Until next time. Oh yeah, I guess we're ready.